In the very near future, I will be uploading a video on the Shimano Alfine Nexus 8-speed, uh, showing in detail how it works. But a little teaser for you right now, we're going to show internally in the hub why uh, shifting adjustment is very critical for this particular hub. We have the, uh, the axle. Uh, the gear carrier unit is stripped off it at this point. Uh, so what we've got here is the axle and the driver and uh, we have the uh, shift uh, uh, mechanism, the cassette joint, hooked up to it. And uh, we'll just show you what happens inside the hub as we go through the various gears and um, show you why the shifter adjustment is so critical. Alright, so here we have three shift poles. You'll see them in action in a minute here when I start shifting. Okay, so in the uh, first and fifth gear, the shift poles are all fully retracted. This will all be explained in detail in the uh, video to come. And uh, I'll just show you now what happens as we uh, run through the uh, shifter. All right, so if you watch the outer pole as we shift to first gear, the outer pole extends and what's happening there is that it actually engages with the splines on the inside of the outer sun gear and couples it to the axle. All right, as we shift to second gear, the first gear pole retracts and the second gear pole extends. And as we shift to fourth gear, the third gear pole retracts and the fourth gear pole extends. Now, This has to be, the pawl has to be in its fully extended position to make sure that it's fully engaged with the splines in the, uh, the sun gears. Now in the fourth gear position, I don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, the, uh, the alignment marks in the window, all right, there's two alignment marks, and in fourth gear, those alignment marks are supposed to be uh, lined up. Any misalignment of those, if it's out of adjustment, the pawl that engages the sun gear will not be fully extended. So you'll have the pawl halfway extended and just maybe catching on the lip of the spline rather than fully extended and fully seated in the spline itself. All right, so as we shift to fifth gear, Remember I said that the falls are fully retracted again in fifth gear. All right, inside the driver is the clutch. And what happens between fourth and fifth gear is the fourth gear pawl retracts and the clutch uh, moves into the engaged position so that it, en it engages the planetary carrier. All right, so we'll just back to fourth gear. All right, just watch carefully inside the driver and, and watch as the a clutch advances. So once again, uh, the pawls are all retracted and we repeat, repeat the process in sixth gear. All right, the second gear pawl extends because now we're in high range. And seventh gear, it's the third gear pawl and eighth gear, it's the fourth gear pawl. All right, so anyway, uh, stay tuned and uh, very shortly I'll be uploading the How It Works video for the Complete Hub.